Right. So another chord which I really love is what what they call I guess as a fat chord, P H A T. So what happens in this chord is you take major chords and minor chords which you may already know and add either a fourth interval or a second interval to that respective chord. So you take in this case you take E flat major and now you can start off with its fourth what will be its fourth E flat F G A flat okay so you're playing E flat major in this case I'm playing E flat here I'm playing the chord here as an inversion and you're using an additional finger which you will have because a triad needs only three of them you add the fourth So by adding this fourth, it makes the sound very rich and a lot more thicker, you know? Right? You can also arpeggiate it to create a very unique piano intro, you know, for a song or an interlude. Just on E flat. Just on the major chord actually, isn't it? A flat all with that sus four na 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 so another thing we do is you can also bring in the second it's a very gospel thing to do So basically stack up a major chord with either the second or the fourth. Let me try and show this to you on a easier key if you will, maybe on C. So what will be a stack? Add the F which is the four or add the two. So if you're composing maybe on the key of C major just with the major chords C major so these are just traditional major chords you know which if you were to google the chords it'll just say okay play a C major there play an F major there or a G major there but a way I like to you know adapt to these chords is to add these other intervals which don't affect the the purpose or the quality of the chord it, it still feels major to me but it just feels a lot interesting a lot more nicer so can do this even with a minor chord so that's your A minor stack okay let's go to a minor sounds beautiful on the minor as well right that's just a pop progression Six, na, na, four, one, five. You can even like play a major chord, knock off the third get a very suspended sound a very hanging in the balance sound with the two and the four of that chord
So in a nutshell, these fat chords, as they are called conventionally, is where you take any old major chord or any old minor chord and just add the second interval or the fourth interval. And it's also good to know that if you'd like to sharpen the fourth on occasion, or if you'd like to flatten the second on occasion, when would you want to sharpen the fourth? Usually in the in the event of a Lydian mode. So if you were to just play a straight C major, it's just a normal chord, you know, but if you stack it up with a sharp four, it starts sounding very Lydian all of a sudden. Or if you take a C minor chord and then stack it up with a flat two, very Phrygian, you know, because of that flat two. So that's just something to keep in mind. So in a nutshell, take a chord you already know, Add a 2 and a 4 interval in your own way and that's what creates this amazing sound uh, which I've put into my bank of my 10 favorite chords. Let's move on.